Hi guys, Ree here, and welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney, and a very exciting park hopping day in Walt Disney World, Florida. We're starting off in Epcot and ending our day in Hollywood Studios. We're gonna do a very quick outfit check, and then the children are gonna share the plans for the day, the bucket lists they have made, and then we're gonna get going. So the girls and I are having a purple themed day and the girls will explain why when they share their plans. We've got silver ears and lilac spotty dresses. Stay tuned to find out why. The temperature here in Florida is not what you might expect from Florida today. It's on the cooler side so we've also got some denim jackets, leggings and spirit jerseys packed to wear too. William is wearing a Stay Magical t-shirt because we're ending the night with, wait for it, we'll tell you in the plans. Bella, why are we wearing lilac? So we're gonna meet Arthur and Figment. We are, and, and they're both purple characters. Uh, we're gonna go to Hollywood and Vine. Which is kind of why we've got the, the 50s vibe as uh -huh. opposed to the lilac. Okay. William, have you got the list? And then girls, you can show us some got drawings we've done in the activities. List. Early entry starts at 8.30. Park opens at nine. Guardians, uh, we've 11. got. 45. It's around 11.45. We have managed to grab a virtual queue for Guardians. That was, that's that's an estimation based yeah. on the time they gave us. Um, and we've also got Soaring Over California. I think it's still California as opposed to around the world. That's what it Possibly. said when we booked um, it. We'll when, have to check the sign outside of the. Yeah, that's true, yeah. but we'll, sh we'll share all of that. Um, we've got that booked as a DAS or a DAS early reservation, pre-registered booking, if you want to know all about DAS, which is the Disability Access Service. I've made a full separate video for that and you can check that out after you watch this vlog. Then we've got Test Track at 1.30 and then we're gonna head over to Hollywood Studios in the afternoon for Hollywood and Vine and Fantasmic, hence the t-shirt, the Sorcerer yes. Mickey t-shirt. But the, the app said it was at half nine, This Fantasmic, is confusing. Mm. And park closures at nine. So we're not sure what's going so on there, but we're my, gonna find out. My guess is they want us at the phantasmic place by nine so that they don't yeah i think out. you've got to be seated by that i agree like it starts at half nine I, for some reason yes absolutely now you will have seen my magical trip plans if you've seen my videos before but i've now made a version which is the magical trip activities and memories for kids which basically i've taken out all the boring adulty bits about booking references and stuff and left in the pages that the kids like like the planning pages and the lists and the bucket lists and all that kind of stuff but we've also added in these which are character autograph pages the children have been drawing pictures of the characters they're hoping to meet and the characters signed below so they've already done a couple there we go so we've got Minnie Mouse and Goofy from yesterday and Zara has drawn these lovely pictures those are beautiful well done Bella can we see some of your um, pictures I sweetheart I haven't met any of the people I drew but okay uh, I wanted to show you Figment oh that is fantastic and hopefully Figment will sign underneath that that's uh -huh. gorgeous how are my children so talented at art when I can barely draw a stick now? Very clever kids. My husband's just nipped to fill up our resort mugs for me. Some of the vouchers included in our stay when we booked need to be picked up from Disney Springs. So he's gonna go off and do that and then come and find us in Epcot. We're gonna get the bus to Epcot. It has to be the bus, even though we're staying here at Caribbean Beach and normally it would be the Skyliner because the Skyliner is down this week, unfortunately. But never mind, at least the bus stop is just outside. So that's fantastic. Who is ready to go? Me! The other thing, of course, that we've got on our lists for today is Festival of the Arts stuff. Currently, at Pop Festival of the Arts is on. So we have got a little list that you've been making, another party planner, actually, mm -hmm. about we snacks. There's a paintbrush cookie you want, yeah. a stripy rainbow cake in the Inspiration Station. Lots and lots of things. And you want to see all the Figment merch. Mm -hmm. In fact, you even see the Figment, figment and Munchling. And figments, right? It's, it's going to be figment fantastic today, I tell you. It is feeling pretty fresh. Uh, the kids have got their spirit jerseys. I'm carrying mine, but uh, I might just have to put it on soon. I don't know. It's going to warm up. It's going to warm up. First time that like I've ever actually been cold in Florida. Let's get into airport. Just 
Just debating. Because the girls really, really wanted to um, Frozen Ever After, which I agree is one of the best attractions here in Epcot. But we are dining in the Norway Pavilion tomorrow. So it seems a bit silly to go all the way to Norway today when we've only got half a day. We've taken a vote. Frozen is tomorrow. Our first attraction is Figment. We're going to ride the Figment attraction, hopefully meet Figment. We're going to find Asha and all the while waiting for our guardians. Boarding group. Um, Which even little like Dara's we'll the next ones because now boarding 24 okay. to 31 okay and i think we're 35 or something okay that, so, so actually it's going to be received a notification not yet or no it might be like Can 32 okay are we going but on the we will be next. yes are we're we going to go on the figment ride, ride. We're on the ride figment ride so what you do need to think about guys is what i'm going to book after figment for while we're on guardians you also need to take off your ears i yes i know my ears huh. did get blown off previously yeah. on the figment attraction your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. No, what? This is odd. Um, hello? Hello! Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here! All aboard! Woohoo! Next stop, imagination! For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things. From just a sound, your mind has wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Now let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit With your eye chart and you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your eyes see more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly.
Ray, but after that big stink in the smell lab, I hesitate to send you into the touch and taste labs. Perhaps I should end my open house right here. Great idea. We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. Right this way, everybody. Friedman, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down. Upside down? Now you're talking. That's the best idea you've had all day. With just a spark of inspiration, I made my house an innovation. adorable as always and the girls are very excited to actually meet Figment in real life. When they found out Figment was back in the parks, it was everything for you wasn't it? It was everything so eek, this is going to be a bit of a fun magical moment and then very soon Will, it's time to go ride with the bird. Mix red and gold from autumn flowers, purple and blue from twilight hours, green summer hills and rainbows play a part. <laughs> a painter's brush, <laughs> a work of art. That was so sick and adorable. How was that, girls? Really good. Oh, was it just everything you hoped it would be? And William, for you, I know. You, I know the characters are good for everyone, but you're most excited for Guardians. They're about yes. to call our boarding group. It's very exciting. Oh it's my quite, goodness, quite girls. The Figment Pom Pom. Oh, that's Sally from Monsters, Inc. Oh, girls, look at the Figment plushies. Oh. Look, there's a bottle. I like this so adorable. Oh, he's a big sleepy Figment. Figment socks. There's a very cute Figment cup, but I know that in the Festival of the Arts, they've got a drink and you get to keep the Figment yeah. cup if you buy the drink. So that's what I feel like. Figment headband. Bella, what is that? Is, is that a hat? For you. No. Now, girls, you had these last time, the figments that go on your shoulders. You've got those. Figment t-shirts, but I think these are for grown-ups, not kiddos. So that's a shame, but never mind. Oh, figment keychain. Oh, I like that. I like that keychain. Very cute. I like all of this because it's lilac. The lilac ears are nice, guys. You just spotted those yesterday too, didn't you? Look. 
Oh, sequined lilac ears. Oh my goodness, look at these figment munchlings. How much are figment munchlings? $19.99. He's so cute. You maybe wanted a figment munchling. Figment munchling or figment plush? That's the question. Plush. Maybe you can have a think about it. They've got absolutely plenty. I think I want a plush. I like plush. Well, they've got plenty, so have a little think, because we're going to have to go to Guardians now. We don't want to be late for that for Will. So we'll go to Guardians. We'll come back to decide on the figment thing later when it's less time sensitive. That's it. It's official. Our Guardians boarding group has been called. We are heading there to do Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. What are our expectations of this ride, kids? Um, I think it's going to be really good. I think it does. Go it sucks you backwards, from what oh, I can, from what I've seen. The way people describe it is, it's like nothing else I've ever been on. So yeah. that sounds cool and exciting. Also, the reason we don't have pigment merch is because um, we're thinking to get it later. Also, we do want to look through the Festival of the Arts versions. Yeah. There might be some stuff in the creation shop. Uh -huh. So we're hesitating on the pigment stuff. You can have a little think. Can you take a little beat? Um, after this. I'm really, really peckish and fancying some festival food. We just need to find a way to get around this middle section. Okay, we have to get past the, all the Epcot walls. So if you're using DAS, DAS, whatever you call it, I think we use it interchangeably, with um, Guardians, you need to go and find the umbrella outside, same for virtual queue with Tron and register and then they allocate you your lightning lane. In your Terran year of 1977, your scientists launched spacecraft on an exploratory mission. In the Terran year of 2012, Voyager 1 made the historic entry into interstellar space. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born of the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years. Assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the Cosmic Generator, an advanced piece of Sandarian technology that creates jump points, artificial tunnels that act as shortcuts linking distant points in space. It is our desire to share this wondrous technology with your people so that together we might explore new worlds and create a brighter tomorrow. And now, as the culmination of the wonders of Xandar, you will be teleported to a Nova ship above your planet for a demonstration of the Cosmic Generator. I trust you will find it an unforgettable experience. Welcome, people of Epcot, Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? What? I'm on. Someone needs to tell me when I'm on. Welcome, Epcot Terrans. I am Centurion Tau Merrick, and we're just about ready to teleport you up to the ship for the demonstration. As you're about to enter a secure Nova area, I must ask you to put away your Terran communication devices at this time. Recording of any type is strictly prohibited. I am very serious about this. Now, please step forward into the chamber. You're gonna love this. All right, for teleportation.
actually that was very epic. hard to describe epic amazing i was they were very specific that about not filming on the ride so yeah so you get a different song every time we had one way or another which i thought well, do the children know this but they know it from the sequel to hocus, hocus pocus um so luckily they knew that william uh, summed it up the music made you ride yeah. it was epic um, it's like yeah. it's spun i get why they didn't let you film it because you'd literally like it would yeah you're just spinning all over the place. I mean, you know, when I do film on things, everything's obviously secured, but I get why on that ride they've said no. We've got to get some food, kiddos. We've got to get some food. Let's find some Festival of the Art themed food. And we've just bumped into some lovely subscribers, Flip and Kira. Are you enjoying your time? Oh, here? we're loving it. It's amazing. Yeah. Here. What, yeah. favourite favorite attraction so far? Oh, oh so hard. We've just been on um, Mission Stuff. Yes. No, we've been on a Spaceship Earth. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. That that, we made sure we got that first. Yeah. Because yeah. it's one of our classic ones. It one. is a classic. We're, we're heading off to Guardians. We just did it. <gasps> did totally love, hard to describe. Did you love it, girls? Amazing. Love it, just amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, okay, so wonderful. lovely seat. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, so, Thank you for so nice to see you. So the question is Guardians of the Galaxy. She was a bit nervous about doing it. Are you going to want to do it again or give it a skip? Yeah! You want to do it again? Yeah! Well, we can only do one virtual queue per day, but luckily we're coming back to Epcot tomorrow. made a bit of a rookie mistake, dropped my cake. I had to go and get another one. Anyway, now we can cut to pretending that didn't happen and um, trying the food and the figment drinks. So the kids have got these smoothies in these figment cups. They're actually eating the like creamy stuff off the top with Skittles in it. What, what's your thoughts on it so far? Um, they're very crunchy, the Skittles. Oh, it's probably because they're cold. Oh, probably, yeah. Nice try though. Cake. Of course, try some cake. Yeah, the smoothie in the bottom is nice. Yeah, yeah, I got some of the purple layer. Some... Oh, yeah. Some of the purple layer. I'm, I'm going to try some of this cake. What do you think? It's good? Mmm. It's very gungy. Oh it's, oh, it's weird. It's like... It's very fruity. It's a, it's a cake that tastes like Skittles. I, they're not joking. Can you describe the cake? It tastes really nice, but... It's, it's got Skittles in it, apparently. Yeah. And that's what, it does actually taste like Skittles. No, they're not lumpy Skittles. It's, it's like... Oh, your figment smoothie. Go on then. Good? Mm. What's it taste like? Grapes. Grapes? Very grapey, is it? Yeah. Wow. It's great. Oh, I get it. Grapey. Mm. Can you taste the Skittles? Can you taste the rainbow? There are crunchy bits in it. Not like a whole Skittles, just tiny crunchy bits. There are whole Skittles on the top, throughout the sponge. It's like Skittle dust. Actually, they're crunchy bits. Are they? And the bits around the Skittles, they're just bigger. Mmm, And nice. It's not the cake. Uh, it is probably easier to cut on the side. And then we've got this, which I'm guessing is gonna be like the tart thing in Hollywood Studios. So, we can break in half. With some mood blue lighting. Oh, it's like jam. You have both halves. There you go. Girls, you can try two. Split that one. Mmm. Mm. It's says pastry, but it's like really soft shortbread. Yeah. With like a jammy thing. And, oh, and the icing is delicious. Jam, this really right, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, very nice. Mm. Give it a go, Zab. Yeah. 
No, don't like it? No. No, not for you. Bells? I've already had some. What do you think? It was really nice. Go for it then, Zaz. I'll try the smoothie. Oh, Pigment's changing. He is changing colour. He's going less purple. As you drain his imagination. <laughs> oh no! our reservation for soaring over California. We've only done soaring around the world before now. Is it soaring over California for the Disney 100? Is that why it's the California overlay? But Disney 100's ended. So it's fun that it's something different that we haven't done before. Will they do still do the bit with the smelly elephants? Do you think? Yeah. And will there still be Mickey fireworks? That's what I want to know. Mickey fireworks at the end. California. It was nice to do something different. I really like the bit where you sort over Main Street USA and Anaheim. The one thing I would say is I seem to remember the transitions were a little more fluid. No, more like flying, flying like yeah, and then the balloon like, covers it and then you're in a different place. Yeah. Rather than just snap and you're in a different place, it's like sort around the world. Definitely had smoother transitions. Yeah. That's but my only... Other than that, I absolutely loved it. But obviously soaring around the world was developed after soaring around California. So yeah. that would be why. So but that would be my good. only no. Yes, that would be my only note on it, I would say. But I'm really glad we got to experience oh, yeah, both. I was acting like it was like the most terrifying thing. <laughs> there were like fireworks at the end and there was They're a giant one and she screamed. Yeah, she did scream. It was um, a golf ball that got me, honestly. Uh, <laughs> the other thing that I've got to say I did love, I just love the smells. <laughs> smells and there weren't any pooey smells they're all pleasant smells in Tory around California there I had one or two pooey smells in the okay. world
So we are back in Epcot tomorrow. We're really running out of time now because we need to get to Hollywood Studios. We're going to go and pick up some food. Uh, We're literally taking a shortcut through the shop, which is probably a bad idea, actually. That's not a good way to get a shortcut anyway. The thing. Oh, they're very cute. Very cute figments. Very cute munchies. Guys, there you go. Cute little figment. Um, we're going to come back and do a big come shop with me tomorrow, okay? Because if we don't go now, we're not going to eat on time. Cute t shirts. <laughs> we don't eat now. We're not going to be hungry for our dining reservation in Hollywood and Vine, which is like 5 pm. So come on, come and eat some food. Connections eatery, not to be confused with Connections Bakery, which just has more sort of snack type thing. We've ordered a bit of food. I think I've ordered too much food actually, um, and we're eating again in four hours. So, oh well, never mind. The girls have gone for chicken strips. No surprises there. They have got these cute little oranges with them and some apple juice. Will is over 10, so therefore an adult in Disney pricing. So he's gone for an adult chicken burger meal. I went for two slices of pizza, which turn out to be the biggest slices of pizza I've ever seen in my life, um, but look very tasty. Let's eat some of this so we can get off our day. previously discussed, it seems to be it's too much food for us. This was an adult meal. This is how much I've got left. William, are you going to finish those fries? Can you? No. Bella has managed one of her two massive chicken tenders and most of the fries. How about you? Are you going to manage um, much more? I had um, my orange and Bella had one of her orange. She didn't like it, so I didn't have it. Okay, but what about the rest of the chicken tenders? No? No, Daddy for ate earlier. He did manage to take a photograph of his food. He said he bought somewhere in the China Pavilion. Can't say exactly where, and didn't actually take any more photos, but he did take a picture of his food. So well done, Daddy for. So, um, and I now ate, you're having a go at my pizza. And I ate it with chopsticks. Did you? Well done. Um, you're just eating the crust of my pizza. The pizza does taste very nice, but I will comment that it was very oily. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, this is why we're better off sharing food in Disney, guys, because we could never finish it all. And we have to eat again in now three and a half hours. Now it's time for test track. My husband's skipping out on this one. He's really not fast on attractions. Um, and then William and Daddy for our park hopping straight to Hollywood Studios to do resistance. And the girls and I are going to try and find Asha before we park hop to Hollywood Studios. It's a competition for who can design the fastest yeah. car. Yeah, in the next section we're going to get to design our own car. Stage four is a test. Okay. Okay, you get the good stats. Zara just wants a lilac car. Yeah, I don't want to competition. Okay, darling, we'll see if you can make the purplest car there is. We'll win that one. And William's just reminding me, this is probably the last time, well, this is the last trip anyway, we'll get to ride test track because they are reimagining it. It's not going to be Chevrolet anymore. It's going back more like World of Motion, the old four track test track. So curious as to what that'll be like. Will they take away this bit where we design cars that we're going to see next? I don't know. Interesting. Um, but I'm glad we're getting to ride it this trip before it changes. Will's all, mine's got power and it's got, it's so I was like, ah, oh, it's a lilac. <laughs> it's massive, is it? Yeah. I don't know, I just know ours is a lilac, that's what she wants it. Like, it's because she's got accessories. Like, it looks like it's difficult. Oh, so, um, if, it'd be a bit embarrassing if we win this.
and Daddy Four and I running over to Hollywood Studios, who are hopefully going to film a little mini vlog. Mini yes, vlog. I'm actually going to start by filming Spaceship Earth. Excellent. You go to Hollywood Studios, do Resistance. Girls, we're going to see if we can find our yeah. share. Um, and then maybe some shops and toilets before we head over to Hollywood Studios. So, boys, we will see you um, at our Hollywood and Vine reservation. Yes, bye bye. Bye. So, that's the boys off to Hollywood Studios. We have checked the app and Arsh is actually meeting at three, so we have 40 minutes to get there, which means we can have five or ten minutes having a little bit of time looking around creation. But only five or ten minutes, then we've got to go and dash to Asher, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because you girls are really excited to meet her and I don't want to disappoint you. They are selling off so much of this Disney 100 merch, it's all 50% off. 50% off, girls. 50% off. These are 50% off too. She looks like Star Wars. We got some spirit jerseys. Oh, hang on. Are these spirit jerseys or are these the new kind? Ah, see? These are a celebration crew. It looks like a spirit jersey, but actually, this is, it's not got the seam across here. So it's a celebration crew jumper, which is very, very similar, but it's not actually a spirit jersey brand. Did you know that? You wouldn't have told, no, would you? Just a glance at it. You would have said spirit jersey. Girls, these are so cute. Although you do have very similar spirit jerseys, actual spirit jerseys. But those are really sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about the flowery ones? That's um, Louisa. Oh, that is Louisa. That is, oh, actually, this is beautiful too. I don't yeah. know what this is from, but that's gorgeous. Oh, wow. Bella's just spotted this lounge fly. And that's actually quite a good size lounge fly. That's quite a lot bigger than a lot of them. Ah, so this is another thing that I was going to say, spirit jersey, but that is... Let me check, is it a celebration crew? I think it is. It is. I had heard a rumor they're phasing out at Spirit Jerseys. I don't know how much truth is in that. I'm trying to replace them with these. Price-wise, the celebration crew is $64.99. Oh look, these dresses are cute. I've not seen these in the park before. They're like, they're like slimmer versions, more, less, um, less dressing uppy. I mean, they're still a bit dressy uppy, but you know, they're more Disney bound than they are dressing up. And the girls have spotted the Illy dolls. They've got so many of these that they just don't have in the UK. Look, like there's a Pocahontas set. Haven't seen that before. Now you have got this one. Yeah. And you've got that one. There is a beast one up there. Oh, uh, so this is like, maybe this is like set one, but they did, they had different ones in, um, ah, these over here, yes. Different color balloons and stuff. Yeah, these are the ones you saw yesterday at the top of Main Street. So different colour balloons. Yes. He's sitting by his Sven, Belle, Elsa you quite liked, didn't you? Because you've already got a Belle. Elsa Disney Bounding. And who we got down here? Snow White. Girls, what about this? Oh that's a big Thunder Mountain. Ellie doll. Jacket. It's a bit more specific. I think you'd probably prefer it more like princesses, wouldn't you, rather than Big Thunder Mountain? Thought so. Oh, I do like the Pizza Planet t-shirt. That's cool. Ooh, aliens. Those books. I think they've got toy play sets inside. Oh, nice. That's a little uh, Star Wars. Is that a spirit jersey for kids? It is. That's, that's actually super cute. I know that's not something you would be into. No. But that's cute. And this kid's one is free, apparently. No prices. Ooh, more spirit jerseys or crew collection or whatever they are. Now this is a, oh. a Pixar one. It's very fluffy. I like this one. Aye. Oh, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my good Bella. I love that. Look, it's got, I don't know. I think I prefer a plain front, but the back, look at the back. Can we just appreciate the back? Can we appreciate the back? This is, is it a spirit jersey or a celebration, celebration crew? It'll say in here. No, that is a spirit jersey. That it says that it's a spirit jersey. So just to compare prices, this spirit jersey, I don't know if they're all the same price, but this spirit jersey is also without a price. Not very helpful. <laughs> Although the spirit jerseys over here are priced at 99.99 for these. This one's fluffy though. Maybe it's more for fluffy ones. It is, that's like part fluffy. Oh, it's got the castle on the fluff. It's like my one. That is a bit like yours, isn't it? And then this one is actually lovely. William thought he liked it, but then didn't like the color combination. But that is pretty. 
Yeah, of course you like that one. It's lilac. Look how huge the D is. That is a massive D, isn't it? That's quite quite large. And it's got the weird placement where it goes all the way down the arms. I think I prefer it where it's just like here to here than all the way down. I've got to say, though, this pink, Bells. Oh, I'm not sure about the front, but the back. The back, the back, the back. Well, it, because it's lilac. So basically, that's pink and lilac. It's like your dream combo, girls. Oh, more spirit jerseys. We've got this one, Walt Disney World. See, oh, this one's $79.99. So clearly, they're different prices. We've got Stitch. What's he like on the back? He is chilling on the back. And then, what did you spot? Hang on one sec. Oh, is that? We've got a nightmare before Christmas. Hang on, be there in a second. And Zara spotted something. This one is very sparkly and very gold and sparkly on the back. Come on then, Zara, what have you spotted? Wow. That is, that is very out there, isn't it? That is a Disney Parks snacks. And if, I've got to say, all those snacks I do love apart from, is this a popular opinion? Unpopular opinion? I'm not sure about eating turkey legs, just, just like that. Not sure that's for me, turkey legs. But all the other snacks, love them very much. <gasps> oh no, this, girls, look at this. Look at this, snacks, spirit jersey. Wow. Snacks, spirit jersey. <gasps> Look at that, girlies. It's got the snacks all down the arms. That is flipping adorable. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is, it's like a foamy popcorn. I mean, you could fit pretty much nothing in that. Maybe just a foam. It is super cute. Does it smell like popcorn? No, they didn't go that far with it. Looks cool though, doesn't it? It does look very realistic. And then there's this Mickey Mouse sipper. Is that a is it a cup? Is it? it is actually a sipper. So it's supposed to look like a snack, but you drink from it. Look at this cushion. Oh, a Mickey. It is not a munchling. That is a Mickey ice cream sandwich cushion. Or like a plushie. So you just like lie on it. So this is the 2024 collection. We've seen a bit of this, I think yesterday in the contemporary. This is really cute look and it's got figment on it, but it's printed, not embroidered. And it looks very printed. I can't even describe what I mean. I guess the spirit jerseys have got like puffy writing. Maybe it's just because it's neon. So I don't know, I love it, but then I, I don't know. Mm. I love this color. Not sure about that bit. Oh no, I prefer that. That's very sweet. I like that one. I like that very much. I love this color. And they are 26 99 for the kids. And we've got the figment plushies again. They are $34.99 if you want a figment plushie, girls. Bella, that is a Valentine's Starbucks Walt Disney There's World cup. There's Mickey on the back. I know, and it's got this pretty, pretty straw. I bet they are quite pricey, though. $49.99 for that. And you have to, like... Yeah. Oh, look. Look at this T-shirt. $39.99 for the four parks. Oh, Zara needed to look for munchlings. Have you not got enough munchlings, darling? That's a popcorn bucket of munchlings. No. You get a surprise munchling in there. That is a type, is it? Are they types of park snacks? Get, like, one of these. Oh, so yeah. you could have a Mickey onion ring, a Pascal jalapeno popper, Pluto ramen noodle. Lots of different snacks. Yeah. Cute. Yeah, the girls are kind of obsessed with munchlings, aren't you? Wait, mm -hmm. How much it does it cost? How much does it cost? Price. Um, no price. Oh, no, no price. Dish. Probably means this mystery pack, $17.99. Seventeen ninety-nine. So seventeen pounds. That's fine. Well, seventeen is seventeen ninety-nine dollars, not pounds. Yeah. So less than nine pounds. So by contrast, the figment munchling is nineteen ninety-nine. So not much more considering he's quite exclusive. And then we've got Festival of the Arts T-shirt, thirty-four ninety-nine. What is that? Is it a Spaceship Earth cookie jar? It is. That is cute. That is $59.99 for Spaceship Earth cookie jar. And the Epcot tumblers are $49.99. Walt the Dreamer statue Christmas decoration, which reminds me, we've not yet found the Walt the Dreamer statue, which we really need to find. So that is a job for tomorrow for definite, okay? Put it in your planner, girls, it's important. Epcot kids t-shirt with all of the attractions. And they are $26.99. We've got these Epcot spirit jerseys. I've just got to say, I've got to say it right here right now, is like a white spirit jersey, the least practical color for in the park. So you take it on and off, you get makeup on it, you're dropping food on it. Like it's beautiful, but is it gonna stay beautiful if you're in the parks? Probably not. That's $79.99 and look at all the Epcot all around the world. Oh, love that. 
They've got some Luminous Symphony of Us merch. Now we're going to be watching Luminous Symphony of Us, the new fireworks display on the World Showcase Lake tomorrow night. Can't wait. Just might be of note, they sell strollers in Walt Disney World. So if you don't want to hire one, you could just buy one of these. Sadly, I can't find a price and we're running out of time. We found Asha in this pavilion just behind Disney Traders, just on the World Showcase. The only thing is, my husband has taken the bag with the girls' activity books where they've been doing drawings of the characters and getting them to sign. Now, Zara's also got her autograph book with her, Bella hasn't. But you can sign my, you can have my planner if you like, darling. And I'll tell you what we'll do when we get back, cut the pages out, we'll stick it in your book, okay? Cut what pages? Out of my book, and we'll stick them in your book, okay? Crisis averted, sort of. Um, I've got, there's a blank page at the back of my magical trip planner. <laughs> um, the girls really wanted their activity, <laughs> but with the pages at the back, Zara had drawn a lovely picture of Asha to show up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. She's got her autograph book. And Bella will just get this. We'll get it to sign on here. We'll cut it out and we'll stick it into yours, okay? Yeah. Good girl. Are you excited, girl? Yeah. Yeah! You're all wearing purple! I have to tell you, did you know that purple means you have it? Okay. Now you know! <laughs> now my mama, she told me that purple means hope. And then she gave it a really pretty, pretty dress. Now I like to think that other colors have meaning too. Like, what do you think, little dicky? Oh, of course. Like, I think blue would be a nice color for peace. Yeah. What about pink? Mm. I think so too. Oh, thank you. What about yellow? <laughs> oh, you are just the sweetest. Now you have to come on by so you can see the other colors of roses too. They've been singing your songs constantly. Oh. Now Valentino loves, loves, loves singing. He'll be with us too when you come on by the visit. And then maybe we can sketch in color together. Yeah. I think that would be cool. Oh, girls, how amazing was that? Really? And so we even amazing. got her autograph. Oh, amazing. <laughs> I think that's the girls' days made. Figment and Asha in your purple dresses. Wow. That was that was on your list, wasn't it? They were the they were the goals, the bucket list items for today. So now we need to find some toilets for a change. We do that a lot with kids. That's what you don't see in uh, vlogs with vloggers coming about kids. Lots and lots of toilet stops. Um, so toilets and then we're gonna head to Park Hop, which we'd normally try and take the skyline out of it. See that's down. We're going to park hop to Hollywood Studios. So we're heading to the bus station because the skyline is not on. We're going to go and get the bus to Hollywood Studios and the first what do you want to scan in for first guys? Mickey um, Minnie. So we're going to try and do Mickey and Minnie first and if you want to watch all of that that will be in the next vlog which will be on screen now click over there or check out my Patreon for early release videos. Thanks so much for watching don't forget to like subscribe to those YouTube things we'll see you in that next video in Bye. Hollywood Studios. Bye!